Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda 2020 Random Percent Tournament Semifinals. We have match two between Thurwolf and F. Coughlin. I am Elso, and I'm joined by Farron Burgundy. Yes, Farron Burgundy here, and it's going to be a fantastic night. We may have our finals of the 2020 Random Percent Tournament for the Legend of Zelda Randomizer determined tonight. If not, if Fred Coughlin evens things up here then well we, the fireworks will be shooting off tomorrow at 10 for the deciding game three to get to the finals so i already see that we have a two heart start and that's actually kind of important uh the reason is that means they're going to need an extra heart container to guarantee they can pick up their white sword item and on top of that Whenever they go to do the up A to get their health back, they are only going to ever start with two hearts instead of the normal three. Yeah, one of a few different challenges here as we're in the, the creme de la creme as far as the flags go. So there's a possibility, a 50-50 chance that Swordless may come up. The starting hearts, well, set one to five. At, uh, in this case, we have two rolled here. They're starting with one item, which is the red candle. That looks to be rather helpful as they start up in the northeast. And it looks like we have mirrored overworld. That we do. And that looked to be a recorder on the Arbos item at its vanilla spot. Let's see. The recorder does nothing. They have no Triforces. Recorder takes them to beaten dungeons, and they're going to have to get all eight Triforces in order to get into level nine. But a 118 large secret will help them out. Well, to answer the question in chat, this is the bonus bracket finals. The winner of this best of three will go on to take on TA909 in the grand finals. And now the runners are kind of uh, lucky here in that the option for max enemy HP was available, but the enemies look to have only rolled a plus minus two. Yes, the max HP was one of the final four flags that could have potentially been rolled, and that is a 50-50 possibility. The others being possible one-hit KO possible blackout as we've got 19 for the small seeker so this is a uh, this is a generous seed in terms of currency but what we don't know yet is if it is a first or second quest cave set which will heavily influence the writer's decisions and fred has found level blue And leaves almost as quickly. Paul's voice are not necessarily easy to beat with a red candle. Nah. Uh, it sounds like we're getting indication in chat that that was second quest level three. Uh, so that's going to give us second quest one through six. Now, that's going to put a couple of thoughts into the runner's minds. Uh, one is that uh, keys are going to be a little bit uh, more scarce, as we see a second large secret, which confirms we have a first quest cave set. Um, mm. The bait is very likely required to for, to beat level 3, because level 3 is very linear. So it's not too unreasonable, especially with them starting at the bottom, that... Uh, the bait will be required to get to, into the back of the dungeon. And if it's a mixed quest, second quest one through six, first quest seven through nine, keys are going to be even more scarce than they normally would be, which can be a big problem. Yeah, that is where, well, we, we see level six here on Thirwolf's side. And up A's to at least get well, some of that two hearts back. It's going to be very interesting 
is if we have a mixed dungeon quest and we have randomized dungeon rooms between the dungeons on, you can end up with the second quest rooms, which normally don't appear in first quest dungeons, shuffled into the first quest dungeons. Ooh, and we have Lynels in the dungeons, and wow, they are creating a lot of lag over on Thirwolf's side. I think this is a case where one could argue the Magical Shield may actually be a very valuable purchase, as we have Lynels, and we likely are going to have Wizards in the dungeons based on the fact that we haven't seen them yet. Uh, to answer the question uh, in chat of, is there any major flags of interest? So, this is a random percent tournament, which means that a lot of flags are set to 50-50 as to whether or not they're going to be required. Um, a couple things to note are that in this particular seed, we have second quest uh, first half of the dungeons, which means the keys are going to be a little more scarce. Um, we have the... Loser's Remorse flag chosen by Fred was that sword upgrades will be on. Uh, but there's still a 50-50 chance that this is going to be swordless. Uh, there was a 50-50 chance that the enemies could be maximum HP, but in this case, uh, they did not roll max HP. They seem to have rolled plus minus two. Um, and the other is that they have zero Triforces. They could have started with any number. And the recorder does not take them to unbeaten dungeons. So they're effectively going to have to play a full seat. Oh, and Thirwolf having to up a that spiral staircase room with a Patra and only just even with three hearts. That's not a good time. You know, Patra's a terrible roommate. Yeah, just taking up all kinds of space. And it looks like we have those second quest enemies as the Stalfos. They are shooting the swords. We also have those red bubbles that we saw earlier. Darwolf is able to secure himself a couple of keys, which will be important. Fred is doing some overworld exploration on his side. Darwolf sees a heart in a room that does not normally contain a heart. Now, we've already we've already seen that items were going to be item the minor drops are going to be shuffled from things like keys and triforce rooms, but that doubly confirms it. That does not, however, tell us anything about heart shuffle. No, we haven't seen the coast item as of yet. But we found level seven over on Fred's side. Oh, that. what a find for Thirwolf, the any key. And if my hunch is correct that we have first quest back half, second quest front half, having that any key is going to tremendously help out Thirwolf in this matchup. So far, level six is paying out dividends for Thirwolf. We'll see if Fred decides to come in here. He is relatively close to it at this point. On uh, to answer the question in chat, um, that was the second heart that Thorwolf has picked up. Ooh, Fred finding some hints. We don't know if these are deceptive or not, but this could be valuable information for thread here. And we just got uh, information that... Oh, we go back to what I was saying earlier. Um, that was the second heart. That was the third heart. Um, well, second heart that Thurwolf picked up. I believe both of them have seen at least one take any cave, and I know Thurwolf has seen the one at start. I don't recall if they've seen one before that. 
Red taking a death to the Gorillas. Uh, it looks like based on Thurwolf's movement, it is most definitely not a uh, slow movement for the Red Bubble Curse. Um... Also, apparently there was a little bit of confusion on the Remorse Flag. The Remorse Flag was that Swordless was going to be off, for certain. Not that the Sword upgrades were going to be on. That's what we're understanding from uh, one of the admins. Fred is oh. trying desperately to get back to this cave. Thirwolf taking a death in the shoot room. Thirwolf has spent a lot of time in this level six. And without a sword. Thankfully, the red candle can reach over the blocks, so he doesn't have to waste his bombs in this room to clear it. Although he'd like to pick yeah. up that bomb pack, I imagine. Instead of, I'd like, I bet you'd like to have more bombs, I bet you'd like to have those bombs. I but, mean, technically, that is more bombs. True. Oh, and there's the map. Not exactly what Thurwolf wanted to see, given that he knows the shape of this dungeon. We'd think. We'd hope. Fred is now in the vicinity of level 6. He may be able to... He may also be able to pull this magic key out. If he is able to do so, he could take it right back to level 7. After all that effort to finally get back to her, and it was a door repair... A monkey has probably been cursed. Fred now in level 6. We'll see if he can perform this level 6 a little bit quicker than Thurwolf did, if he chooses to go into it at all. And he opts wow. not to. He might or, also just well, be checking the doors. He okey might be thinking it is... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say a little bit of an okie doke. I thought he wasn't, uh, thought he was leaving, but uh, I'm just trying to open that uh, that entryway up and does so. So we are gonna see Fred meander through level six, and oh, no way to get out of the like like. The candle does not do it. Now, to be fair, Fred may not yet know that it is going to be the second quest uh, shapes, and look at that. This first room has the Triforce in it. Fred may pick this up. If if he picks up this Triforce, do you think he just takes it and runs? Well, he won't be running too far with the Lionel Sword stopping all movement for him. Thorwolf gets a clock in the room. He will be the first runner on the board with a Triforce piece. Fred may not be far behind, and that will help Fred out tremendously, but he's got to be able to dodge these like likes and these Lionels. Thankfully, it's one room in, but it's still each death sets the timing back just a little bit. And Fred is going to go explore some. Uh, we find a bomb shop on the overworld. They are 27 rupees. Mm. While not an amazing price, uh, they do have uh, the benefit of... The fact that once you get bombs, you can force them, and also the money in this seed is quite good. And there is a sword pickup for Thierwolf 13 and a half minutes in.
So, Thorwolf so far has taken the early lead. However, if Fred can get this room down, which he gets swallowed by the like like again, and he's going to have to redo the whole room again. To answer the question in chat, the uh, the final f or top four flag that was rolled was possible max HP, but it uh, it rolled to the negative, so we will not have max HP enemies. They look to be plus minus two. Fred has opted to leave the room for now. Come back later. Can't say I blame him. After the, taking a couple deaths in there, you just got to move on and start looking at other options. Thorwolf is now doing some overworld exploration, uh, finding a whole lot of nothing. Uh, we don't quite... We do believe that this is a mixed quest overworld, uh, as far as we've seen. Oh, nice fairy pickup for Fred as he's trying to deal with this blue Lionel in the middle. That is definitely a good thing to have. It will give him some extra health, uh, some extra potential... Uh, yeah, just some extra health. He also does get a red rupee, which both runners are actually quite well off on the money at this point. They may look to consider a blooming purchase here. They don't. Now, these runners are definitely skilled enough to where they don't need a blue ring, but they may find a blue ring would be nice to have just in terms of it gives them that little bit of an extra edge on what looks to be a potentially tough combat seed, depending on what spawns where. Thorolf has found level 4. So now we follow the rule of thumb that every single uh, dungeon in second quest 1 through 6 is level 4. Fred has gotten the compass for level 6. He now knows where the Triforce is. He may ultimately end up having a quicker level 6 than Thurwolf did. As he will he likely end up doing... Oh, sorry, go ahead. If he opts against it, though, or, well, I mean, if he takes the Triforce and goes, not having that any key could be something that'll come back to haunt him later in this race. It's very possible. Uh, but remember, there is always the chance that you just don't need keys to get to Zelda. There's always the chance that the keys aren't that important, and it looks like we are wood sword only. Step over the water to reach the bomb upgrade. So that does not necessarily tell us anything about Heart Shuffle. Uh, the reason is that we've seen we have a hint for our heart in level 7. If that heart in level 7 is the only heart on the floor, as Thor will fix up the level 4 Triforce, um, if that heart in level 7 is the only heart in the stair, then that is just the latter heart is shuffled in, and no harm, no foul. Uh, the one thing we do want to watch for is if floor items start appearing in dungeons that normally don't have them, or if uh, as Chad is pointing out, we could have also deceptive hints. And honestly, I think the thing hurting Fred the most right now is just the lack of that sword, although he does get a bomb drop. And he's got the like like bouncing against the wall. He's going to have no problems finishing it off. Oh, um, well, well, I was going to say, maybe... I should say that. <laughs> But no, he, he has a slight problem, but he's able to overcome it. And there is the level 6 Triforce for Fred. If you've never heard my commentary before, I'm really good at calling things and then being wrong five seconds later. So Fred has gotten his Triforce out of level 6. He's going to pick up his sword here. Uh, Thurwolf still has the early lead from the any key and the Triforce out of level 4, but Thurwolf left level 4 behind. 
If Red decides to dig level 4, then we may end up in a situation where both runners start to have something that the other one wants, and it becomes a question of which of the two is going to be the more valuable. So I think I'd like to see Fred dig level 4 here, but it's also understandable to want to leave 4 as it is a relatively large dungeon. There's a lot of one-way walls, there's toll room, or one-way walls, there's a lot of walkthrough walls, there's toll rooms, there's a bomb upgrade in there, there's potentially a bunch of combat. It's understandable to want to not do level 4 immediately. To answer the question, uh, we we do believe that Recorder goes to beaten dungeons as when they blew the Recorder in the beginning of the seed as uh, they had found the Recorder in the Armos spot rather quickly within the first couple of minutes. It, there was, it didn't take them anywhere. There was no there was no tornado to whisk them away. And that is important to know which uh, places you're going to. What will be interesting, though, is if it is recorder to old spots, and I missed if the bomb upgrade was on the coast. Although it sounds like, based on our tracker, or rather it looks like based on the tracker, it is the power bracelet on the coast, which means we have deceptive hints. Very important. And it is beaten new, as Thirwolf confirms. So here's an also kind of interesting th uh, thread to pull, if you will. So we now have Deceptive Hints. Thurwolf knows that. Fred doesn't necessarily know that yet. When Fred finds out it's Deceptive Hints, do you at that point go ahead and ignore 7, assuming that 7 is still nothing required, or do you go ahead and say, okay, it's a deceptive hint. I'm just going to gamble on Seven's item. Seven being 33 rooms in a very large dungeon to dig. That is, is an interesting question. Now, Fred is in four here, and I believe in glancing at those hints said that Gleok lurks with the ladder, which would be four, if I recall correctly. Or am I thinking it's first quest? So this is something that I'm not entirely sure on, is I don't know if the hints, if you have a second quest set, if the hints still follow their first quest colors and Triforce pieces, where level four would be a hint, where the hint for level four would go to level five, or if it follows the physical level number, where the hint for level 4 goes to level 4. Thurwolf finds a bomb upgrade, is going to buy it. It's plus 6. Ooh, that is a that is a steal. A plus 6 upgrade for 86 gold. And Fred will find one here in this level 4 because uh, the flag that shuffles the Hunger Korea and the bomb upgrades only activates in the case where uh, it's all first quest or all shapes. Fred finds a magic boomerang. Thurwolf finds a very important piece of information out. That key in that single push block room means that remove most open stairs is on, which means that there will be more combat you have to do to get into staircases. Oh boy. And a one sword only seed. I did realize, yes, 86 rupees, not not 86 gold. I've been doing some Dragon Warrior randomizer commentary, so it's kind of stuck from that. Uh, I'm, I am curious, though, how what the conversion rate of gold to rupees is. I don't know. I... If, there's a, if there's a Dragon Warrior Legend of Zelda crossover, then we'll have our answer. Fred has picked up the Triforce in level 4. We'll see if he decides to go further. There might have been a ladder block, even. I didn't uh, quite catch. Werewolf is going to try to take out this Patra again. He does have Beam Sword, which it looks like permanent sword beams is on. Very important. Hmm. 
And uh, the reason that the enemies are Link sprites running about like that is... Uh, Fred is playing as a Gurria, and whatever enemy you're playing as, if you're playing as an enemy sprite, is replaced by Link. Thorolf is going to take out the Patra. His reward for doing so is going to be a stare. It is going to be a transport. This does not surprise me. And it's another Patra. And eh, one's enough. I haven't seen evidence yet of extra bosses being on, so... If extra bosses is not on, that's a good sign for the runners. If extra bosses is on, it's a great sign for those of you that like to see people fight, like, ten patches at a seat. Fred does find the bomb wall in level four to a spiral staircase. He's already seen one item out of here. Let's see what the second one is. The buyers do die. Very important. Well, it's a transport. Thorolf has a good pattern on the Patra. It's not expanding anymore. And gets it. Doesn't bother with the key. It's immediately Goma blocked afterwards. And heart container ladder blocked. Uh, probably not going to be something that Thorwolf will come back for. Nah. Uh, but he does have to up A out and go back to the Patra Stair in order to continue in this level 7. Fred finds a walkthrough wall to get to another NSU room. Earl is now back in the stair as Fred is continuing to fight off the Tektites. Um, finds an Aquamentus. I don't, I don't necessarily disagree with the decision to keep digging level four because you may find the bomb upgrade in here, which would be valuable. Oh, well, there's <laughs> that is uh, that is not. <laughs> yeah, Fred rightly burning the uh, the mugger and upping and getting out of there. Either dropping max bombs or dropping three keys, and with Fred not having that any key, that's a rather rather hefty hefty reward requested. Here's the thing, though. I think if Fred picks up the bomb upgrade in here, he may be willing to give the bomb up at that point, because then he'd have a max of 13 uh, after giving up the bomb. And that's not necessarily a bad number to have when normally you have eight. Although this could be the item right here. It is. And I'm guessing we have Swordless as our red bubble curse, given that the movement from Fred did not shift any. Oh! That's significant. Well, you were you were looking for the which item left behind is going to be a bigger deal. You got it here. The any key for Thirwolf versus the ladder for Fred. Also, Thirwolf picked up the Triforce out of level 7. So he's ahead on the Triforce count. But we have the battle of the items. Do keys matter more? than the ladder at this point. Right now, we haven't seen any evidence of ladder blocks outside of a heart container. And we haven't really seen, I don't think, too many locked doors outside of maybe level seven having a couple. So neither has proven to be a noted disadvantage yet. Thorolf is going to find some more hints. Play a melody to obtain the boomerang.
Bro potentially in level two. We are returned to the wand. And recorder blocks level eight. If the hints are truthful, this could very well be a boomerang as one item in level eight. We don't know what the other item is because we have not seen a hint for it yet. Well, Gleok Ooh. returns with the wand. Wouldn't that be the other item? Uh, yes, it would. Which would definitely be a combat upgrade for Fred. And Thorwolf has found the raft as the white sword item up in the northeast. Or northwest, sorry. I forgot mirrored overworld is a thing. Uh, Fred is in a different... Wait a minute. Oh, we do not have first quest shapes. We have shape. And that is a shape for level 8 if I've ever seen one. Name that inkblot, chat. That's actually... Thurwolf might actually know that from how level 7 laid out, but Fred definitely knows it's going to be shapes. The turntables are continuing to turn. Uh, we're getting indication that it is a certain uh, European country. Yeah, more like a European set of islands. Roy. You know, the starting with two hearts thing is probably getting old. Uh, we're also seeing the answer of it's a cactus. So, Thurwolf is going out exploring finds level 5. Fred is able to get back into the stair. He's going to try to continue on in this level 8, but Wizards will not make it an easy task. Thankfully, he does find a room full of Stalfos. Uh, Thurwolf taking care of the Vyres handedly. He's going to continue searching his level 5. Some orange whiz robes. Appear to have rolled decently. Uh, Shapes back half is a little bit better than first quest back half for Fred on the key count. And that, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Fred is just going to dope on out of that, and that is the correct decision to make. Thurwolf finds his Triforce. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. Ah, just, I was shuddering at the Goma that, uh, that followed. But yes, the Triforce in level 5 for Thurwolf, so already four pieces versus two, and Fred taking a death. Oh, so we're seeing, no. so we're seeing a kind of an interesting strategy from Thurwolf. He seems to be taking the approach of get all of your Triforces, get into nine, see if you even need to kill Ganon, and if you do, go back for items after. That has been a very solid strategy throughout the tournament, and it's one of those things that's great when it pays off, and when it doesn't. Strap on in, because we're going to be here a while.
That that 50-50 gain and flag really does kind of change the way you end up uh, approaching seeds because you then end up with the question of, do I just make the gamble the gain is not required? Or do I just say, no, I'm going to go ahead and get my items and make sure that I can kill gain if he is required so that I don't have to double it level 9? Well, in this case, because all eight levels are required anyway. You have to get the Triforces from all eight levels because they started with zero. It... Yeah, it's a double-edged sword in that regard. Do you take the time to dig out the levels or do you just kind of try to try to find the Triforce? If you find an item, great. And if not, well, on we go to something else. And there is also the consideration of... There's that there's that baseline 50-50 chance of silver arrows being a nine to begin with. So if you're only missing silver arrows, you probably just go straight to nine regardless of all the things. True, though, if they need bow, well, that's where things get interesting. And there's the Triforce for level eight, and Fred's going to take it. I don't think he continues to dig it based on how much time he's already spent in here combined with its wish robes. He has four hearts and wood sword. I yeah, think I think he leave. nopes out of this. Which, given the likely truthful hints, is going to end up being an overall good decision in that you don't strictly need the wand to beat the game, and if level nine is wish robes, it's not going to help you a ton there anyway. Um, and the boomerang at this point really doesn't have a whole lot of value for the runners. Mm -mm. Fred is finding his any roads. Thorwolf is doing his death mountain bombing. And Fred is going to do the screen scroll to get to vanilla too. It's a small secret, so the wallet not completely full yet, but getting close. You, you know, with would... the blue, uh, blue ring a little bit ago, Fred is just one rupee away from it. You know, it would be amazing to see a second quarter blocks dungeon to cast doubt on Boomerang and Eight. Starwolf has now found level 3. Fred is going to buy a bomb pack here. Definitely not a bad choice. Uh, neither runner has gotten the items out of level 3. Fred saw this earlier, but opted not to dig it, as he did not have a weapon at the time, and it seems like he is going to come back for it later when uh, he is closer to getting into level 9, potentially for the free health refill that comes with picking up the Triforce. And there's a red candle on the ground. Which Thirwolf uh, sets fire to. Those are always the best items to see, is the ones that you already have. Uh, Fred, it looks like he is going to go back to seven. Hmm. I don't disagree with this player at this point. He knows it's shape, so it's probably going to be smaller, and he has the ladder. Accessibility is considerably greater than it was a little while back. I am curious, though, as to when Fred will check the coast item. And that garbage room that Thorwolf died in he happens to have his Triforce piece. He doesn't need to look for anything else in level 3, and the meat will not be required for it. But the meat will not be required to seed at all. And there's the bomb upgrade. Fred is th thrilled with it. Yeah, you, 
You gotta be happy to see a low priced eight bomb, six bomb upgrade. Fred playing dangerously with the patron. Oh. Patra wins that battle. You know, I think if Fred decides to go back to 8 looking for items, he'll, he may now be willing to pay that bomb. Uh, but Fred is going to try to bomb around. He is not able to. Thorolf has his Triforce out of level 3. The count on that stands at 5 Triforces to 3. Uh, the main differences between the two runners being, um, outside of that, the magic key versus the ladder, which so far Fred has not had a whole lot of key issues. Keywords so far. Bombs Definitely. look like they're going to be less of a concern with the six upgrade, and now Fred back in this patcher room. Just has to play it a little bit carefully. Oh. And as Chad is pointing out, Thorwolf has not currently had any issues with ladder blocks. But we all know that Zelda could very well be in the Chevy Room of Doom. And then Thorwolf has to go dig a ladder. Oh, oh. Thorwolf is now going. Can you imagine go Zelda not being required, or, or Ganon rather not being required, but Zelda in a Chevy Room, and Thorwolf has to go dig out the ladder? Bonus points if Silver Arrows and or Red Rings show up not in level 9 to where Thurwolf potentially has to think, oh, I got to be level 9 for my ladder. Okay. Thurwolf has found level 8, gets an immediate clock, and is just going to clear this room out in, with, like, no problems whatsoever. To a transport staircase. Now Fred back in the patcher room here in 7. Looks like he's got a better pattern for it. He does have full health, so that's going to give him an extra hit. Um, also, as Chad is pointing out, there is a potential of a power bracelet blocked level. If there is a power bracelet blocked level, that will be advantage Fred, as he is able to pick up that power bracelet at the moment. Ooh, the Patra is not stuck in its expanding phase. That is very important for Fred. In fact, he might have gotten it stuck contracted. Fred is going to pick up his yep. Triforce. Or Fred Thorolf is going to pick up the Triforce at a level 8. He's just going to leave. It is now 6 Triforces to 3, but we do not know where levels 1 and 2 are at this time. There's level 9. Level 9 is a good find. Uh, they'll need to go there later. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't help them out at the moment. I think if you're Thurwolf, you're going to want to dig four before you dig eight if you're looking for a ladder. Fred is going to be able to get the second patcher down. Much easier than the first. And Thurwolf has found level two over in the forest. This likely has the bow in it, so Thurwolf may choose to dig this one. Taking out the Gleok. Fred sees his Triforce. Gotta pick up his goodies. Oh, 
there's the compass hidden by a like like. This is interesting. Based on how Thurwolf is playing this, I think if he does not come back into two, he is making the gamble that Gan is not required. And he's just Absolutely. going with it. And that's that, what it looks like he's doing. That is the spot on plan. He knows where his items are if he needs to come back for them. Uh, he is definitely making the gamble of, I don't need to kill Ganon. I can get back quick. It's, it's not a bad play to make at this point. Especially given you're in the final four, you need to you need to bring your A game to every single match. And we have yet to see evidence that Silver's in rendering rounds out of nine. So if he does find he needs to kill again, and he may say, Okay, I'm already a nine, I'm gonna go ahead and dig out my uh Silver arrows while I'm here, and then I'll leave, go get my bow and just come right back. Chat noting that it's less of a gamble, and I guess that is appropriate to say that it's more of a calculated risk. Fred is going to buy the wooden arrows. So now the question is, where is level one? is Thurwolf's concern. He's going to check the raft spots. Raft will not be required in this seed. Thurwolf is now back over in the Deadwoods. He is going to go back into four to get his ladder. He probably now knows that it's going to be either power bracelet or ladder blocked on those two river spots. And Fred will be coming to the same conclusion soon. Although he has not checked the forest yet, so he does not know about levels 2 and 9. That may delay him a little bit on getting to those power bracelet spots, but I imagine he will pick his power bracelet up as he does the coast here. I imagine he's going to check the power bracelet spots on the way. Fred is going to take the warp. I'm not quite sure he wanted to do that. And Chad bringing up an interesting idea, or rather a potential point, that Pulse Voice are significantly easier if you do have that bow in hand. And it may speed the combat up. Thorwell finds the magic boomerang. <laughs> he wanted that item. This this could be some good routing for Fred. He can check his power bracelet spots on Death Mountain um, while also checking his recorder spots on the way back up and pick up his Triforce at a level 3. So this may well work out in his favor routing-wise. But he also still needs to find level 5, which I forget where it was. Well, first let's see about 3. This is all assuming we don't have the triple magic staircase to get to Zelda in level 9 and one runner finds it before the other does, which is a very real possibility. Fred picked up his double red candle.
Thorold has gotten some extra bombs. Both runners have purchased a bomb upgrade. Fred is within striking distance of the blue ring if he chooses to get it, and health may be a concern amongst the runners. So the chat noting that Fred attempted to burn the red candle, but they get bopped into it. So they didn't really want to pick it up, but eh, no harm, no foul. And I'm being reminded in chat that level 5 was the waterfall spot. Thorwolf will be getting his ladder here. Uh, it looks like he accidentally exited the stair and then came back. He's like, no, I need that ladder. I think Thirof was trying to avoid the red bubbles, but to no avail. Thankfully, a quick save will alleviate that red bubble curse, and he is heading straight to those waterfall spots. Or rather, the river spots. Fred is about to get his Triforce here in level 3. That is going to help bring the Triforce count a little bit more even. Thorolf takes a death on the overworld. Mm. And at this point, it uh, can be said that Thorolf is currently in the advantageous position. But that advantage comes down to really where level one is if fred is able to find level one first he may end up in a better position to go to nine right after level two he also needs five. level one is on the river and that is correct uh fred does still need to find five two and nine and one he actually only knows where half of the dungeons are at this point And Fred is now going to check Death Mountain as Thorwolf is about to finish off his final dungeon. And I think what's for those just joining, I think what's caused the big difference in the seed is uh, Fred put a lot of time into level eight looking for those items. Combined with uh, he, his routing has just been not even like his routing's just been different than Thorwald's, and Thorwald's route just happened to find him more dungeons in a better order. And there's the compass. Thorwald now just a couple of rooms away. There's the fifth heart now for Fred. Thorwolf is going to get this Triforce, and he's just going to go to 9. He's got no reason to stick around here. The item's unknown. He's got no reason to believe that it's Silver Arrows. Fred is currently still on Death Mountain. Uh, he retried away the Heart Container, probably to get his bombs back. And I am being reminded that we had a hint for a bomb upgrade in level 1. So, yeah. Thorwolf wasn't going to stick around there for any more than uh, however long it took to get the Triforce. And at 52-52, Thorwolf is the first to plunge into 9. And remember, this is a Shapes level 9. I like this. Thorwolf is going to clear this room out. That is not Zelda. It's it's not impossible for Fred to make the comeback, but it is quite the effort at this point uh, for Fred to pull it off. Not impossible, but it would be quite a bit of an effort. The window of opportunity is rapidly closing for Fred to remain in this tournament. Now that's an important piece of information. Zelda and Ganon are not in their traditional rooms. 
Well, I stand corrected. Ganon's not in his traditional room. I have seen where Ganon is not in his traditional room, but Zelda is. Fred is about to come across levels 5 and 1 here. Uh, he... He's gotta just get the Triforce and get out of this point. He doesn't he doesn't quite have the time to look for items unless he comes across a random silver arrows type of deal in level 5. But elsewise, he's just got to get Triforces and go if he's going to make this happen. Or if Ganon's required, he's got to pull that bow out of 2 and even then, he's still got to hope that he finds silvers before Thurwolf does. Like the last week of the NFL season, there's a lot of if you do this and another thing happens here and this happens, then you advance. And, that, and that's one of the things about randomizers in general is that there's a lot of what ifs that happen really throughout the entire game, but the late game tends to really turn into a lot of if X then Y. Um, when you're looking at a race like this, where you can see a window for one runner to come back into it if they're behind, but you also kind of know, okay, here's the kind of things that are going to shorten that window. That, however, helps Fred as Thurwolf takes a death to the Blue Wish Rib. Yeah, every death Thurwolf takes gives Fred just a little bit more of an opportunity. Now we see down to one key. There's a key given back, though. Fred is going a little bit of a different... Well, no, this is the Triforce room here in five. I think if Fred sees the Triforce in here, he's just going to bounce. Silver arrows are in nine, like two rooms in. It's a good find, but can't fire him without the bow. Yep. And that shrinks the window even further for Fred. Probably his best bet is actually to just... is just cold pull the bow out of level 2. But he takes a death on the river screen. That's going to hurt a lot. Because he's got to get back to the river to get to level 1. Although he may come from this side while he's clearing these screens out, so it might be okay. Uh, to answer the question in chat, uh, Fred uh, retried out from a heart container and compass for Thurwolf. The rich just keep getting richer here. Oh my goodness. As the window continues to shrink, it is still there. It is an extremely small window at this point, but it is still there. Somewhere between paper thin and razor thin. Exactly. What actually will probably help Fred the most... ...is a Goma blocked. Non-required Ganon path to Zelda. Well, thank you, old man, but we have the silvers already, or at least their wolf does. The reason I say a Goma, a Goma block that isn't a Ganon block to get to Zelda is if Thurwolf sees that and does not see another way to get into Zelda, he may go and just kill Ganon anyway. As Fred is going the other direction of level 1, Thorwolf is in dire straits on his health here. He's going to have to obey. Yeah, had a potion, but opted against it. Yeah, if you're considering it... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, just following up with that, just saying, probably not the time for it. Yeah, if you're close to a point where you're thinking you're going to up A anyway, there's... 
Uh, nothing doing there. And at this point, Fred is leaving the river area. That's probably going to be the absolute last place he goes back to to find level one. So he's going to end up clearing the whole overworld uh, before he finds that level one. I'm guessing. Based on the darkness that were there and the way he's routing this, it looks like he's routing towards power bracelet spots and then to the north. And I guess he's going to go to the northeast after. I am not going to make a call on this race at this point because I've been wrong before. Uh, we well, have a we'll potential path. That, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I will say that Thirwolf is heading to the northeast, or northwest rather, and is rather close trying to clear out this room, just this blue whiz robe left. He wants to see if Ganon's required, and he wants to see if this is a way to Zelda. The door opens. Uh, Ganon is not required because of that shutter door coming in from behind. Thorwolf will find his there Zelda in its care room. Get out your GGs as Thorwolf is going to take game two and advance to the grand finals for a rematch against TA909 with an official SRL time of one hour and five seconds. Honestly, given the flag set, given the items that they had, and given the everything that they see through with them, not a bad time to get on this type of flag set. And we are now joined by Mr. Thorwolf. GG, sir. Hey, thanks. So, you gotta always miss that sub hour, no matter what. Well, you did kind of just skip the items. I mean, why not? When the recorder's going to take you back to a dungeon. You also kind of skipped the ladder, which could have hurt you. I mean, yeah, I figured if I need it, I'll go back for it. Uh, so the the big difference between you and Fred and the seed was Fred spent a lot of time digging eight and came out with just a Triforce. Oh, he never found the wand? Uh, he did not. And also, your guys' routing was a little bit different, and it was more favorable towards uh, you than it was him, the way that you guys routed the seat out. Yeah, <laughs> didn't feel that way at the beginning. Six was horrible, because I skipped the one room at the beginning, which had the Triforce, so I ended up clearing everything. But you did get but the magic key out of it. I did get the magic key, and I can't complain about that. Not a second quest dungeons and shapes, whatever. I assume they were all truthful hints. That's our impression, too. Um, we didn't see anything like, oh, by the way, Gliok uh, also lurks with the recorder. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I assume Boomerang was probably the other item in eight. Given the Dig Docker block hints. Uh, did Fred see the item in five? Uh, he did not. He did not find five until late in the seed, so he just got the Triforce and bounced. Uh, he's currently looking for level one. Ah, uh, yeah. Level one was the uh, annoying one. So, Fred had the ladder long before you did, because he went oh, ahead and I'm dug out surprised. level four. Um... But what ended up happening is he took a death on the blue dark nuts on the screen right next to level one. They scared me into checking the other screen first, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah. 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 We were figuring his best bet to come back was a Ganon required and then really stupid block in level two for Bo. You know, it could have happened, but I mean, I never saw a Ganon in nine. It could be really... Silly location wise. Well, it was awfully convenient. You didn't need to fight Ganon. It was very convenient. I'm quite pleased. I mean, silvers are free, though, which was kind of a little worrying given my lack of bow. Fred has picked up the pack of hot dogs just in time for Independence Day. Nice. 
Or are they uh, Kaibasas? I don't know. Maybe they, they were just sausages. Didn't... Maybe. So, Thurwolf, you will be going against TA909 in the big old grand final. Yeah, that guy again. It's like you faced him before. I know. It's almost like he gave me my one loss. Well, that's my loss series, I should say. I've had plenty of losses throughout this thing. Plenty of game threes, just not this week. A little fortunate. I mean, you guys could do it just for fun, game three, if you wanted. <laughs> uh, and then we can get everyone in the game. You can join, and Veron, uh, I'm sure you would love to play these flags. You could throw one of these flags at me, and if I started tomorrow, I might finish by Labor Day. <laughs> and I have a Zelda two tournament to practice for, so uh, I'm gonna pass on that offer. <laughs> you don't practice Zelda two; it's just find every item, and that's that's what you do. You practice the combat of Zelda two. Fair enough. Uh, Safer's asking if he can join the game three. So uh, yes. <laughs> Dave will roll the seed. Just for Saber. I mean, you guys could just play him for Saber versus Dave, game two. There you the go. The legendary seed. So Fred is now checking all of his power bracelet spots. Uh, looking for... The level one. Yeah, it's going to be unfortunate. I definitely didn't want to waste my time going for power brace unless ladder spots didn't pay out. You also had a very efficient clear of the overworld, it looked like. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. Efficient meaning you <laughs> did all of the spots in a very efficient manner, not efficient in terms of you didn't do all the spots. <laughs> I mean, I did do all the spots, but yeah, I mean... I tried not to backtrack. That's my goal, because I stuck at screen scrolling, so I never want to go back to areas. The any roads were okay, I guess. One on the left, a couple on the right. So, yeah. And recorded a beaten dungeons new was pretty nice. So how do you feel about Gorillas? <sighs> hmm. I mean, what can you say about Gorillas? They just... The blue ones know when to kill you. That's... They will get you. That's what they do. That is the correct answer. At least the orange ones are kind of chill. They had a lot of HP. I was worried when I fought that first orange Gorilla that max HP rolled on because he wasn't dying. But now he's just a little, a little high. Yeah, it looks like uh, from our perspective it was plus minus two. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Fred now back along the river, and there is one. I believe a son of a monkey has been cursed. Man, I hope Fred kills Ganon. I just want to know where he is. Uh, Ganon's probably in level 8 somewhere. <sighs> you know, maybe. I'm still waiting for that flag. What, Ganon in a different level than nine? Yes. Just have Ganon swap out with one of the other bosses and make that the big bad. Aquamedis's reign of terror begins. Only if we have extra bosses on so we can have 11 patches in level seven. 11 Ganons at level seven. Yes, we need this. <laughs> Oh, 
Or in the case of uh, certain runners, uh, we could just have it be a whole bunch of harkadators. Sure. Where's the double floor drops? So Fred is going to get his Triforce here. He... Uh, looks like he's going to clear these lane walls out. Probably looking for keys, as he does not have the magic key. Does get one. I'm going to guess Fred just immediately Triforce and bailed on Sphix. Uh, he dug a couple of rooms of it until he got the compass, and then he Triforce and bailed. Yeah. Uh, he is now eligible to go into level 9 and rescue his Zelda that is guarded by Moblins. <laughs> Although, Moblins are created in the image of Ganon. So I guess by proxy, he's guarding Zelda. There's something to that, absolutely. Fred doing a little bit of the whistle around before finding his way back to level two, which that can trip you up if you have a mixed quest, uh, because the recorder does change the order that it goes in depending on what quest you're in. Fred now in nine, about 18 minutes after Thirwolf. Uh, definitely employing the strat of go up as much as you can. Uh, was this the compass room? That might have been the compass room. Yeah, the tea room was the compass room. I mean, Fred may just stumble his way into Zelda anyway. You might find Ganon up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably the latter that he'll stumble his way in. Latter, I should say, that he'll stumble his way in Ganon. I mean, he could stumble his way into both. Kills the Dig Dogger, goes north. He does not know yet that Zelda cannot be. that Zelda doesn't have to be in her normal room. Get stuck in the wall a little bit. Oh, I hate when that happens with the door. Yeah, it's annoying. Especially when you're slow-mo. Especially when it's a blue wizard that does it, and they're just, you know, they want to be friends. Oh, by the way, your red bubble curse was great this seed. <laughs> oh, that thing? Yeah. Uh, Fred's actually kind of close here. Oh, he wants that clock, but he doesn't want to die to get the clock. He gets the clock. That would be rather untimely. Fred is now under the bee. Pops out, uh, not much closer to where Zelda is. Yeah, he went away. That's the staircase I took in reverse direction to get towards Zelda. It's kind of interesting that neither of you guys opted to buy a blue ring, although the bomb upgrade was 100% worth it. Ooh. Yeah. I idly thought about it. Definitely the sale of the seed, the six bomb upgrade for 86 rupees. Yeah, and money wasn't bad, so no complaints. Fred is now in the southeast of level nine. Uh, sees a patch of the single shutter door and is going to up A. 
he probably will kill that Patra, think, uh, looking to see if Zelda's back there. Or she may not, thinking Zelda's in her normal room still. Both are valid options. I mean, I'm, I I totally ignore that Patra. Patras were way too annoying. You mean like the two in level seven that were required? <laughs> yeah, those. Those two, yeah. Thank goodness for Perm Beam Sword, though. Beam Sword is a nice touch to get in this. Uh, that, that is a nice flag when it does show up. Oh, yeah. Fred has silver arrows. Well, Fred has burnt silver arrows. And now Fred knows that Zelda does not have to be in her normal room. So neither of you guys had uh, a whole lot of health this evening. No, no. Triforces came before hearts and levels, so what can you do? That is a valid question. Um, I think Fred's going to try to respawn this room to see if he can get a drop out of it. He is, and that will give him the compass. Mm. Or not. Very interesting. That is unfortunate. Mm hmm. Well, I'll see if he takes the stair. He is going to take it. One enemy away from the compass. And now he's down in the south. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of garbage down here. I mean, the whole bunch of garbage, but... This is extra garbage. Yeah, Patras. No bomb walls. A hint. Mm-hmm. Very helpful. Dark rooms. Well, I don't think we've seen this stair yet. I don't know if you took this one or not. Nah, I haven't seen that one. I was trying to get to the northwest, so... Didn't go down. Does my take him to the north? Nah, it doesn't. No, that's the one room down here I didn't look at, aside from those. So, yeah. He's gonna be stuck. Great stair. Yep. Well, now, I do wonder if... Go ahead. I was going to wonder if second quest doors can be in shapes dungeons if we have second quest front half, but then I realized that's a completely separate flag. Yeah. I was checking walls. Never found any, though. There might have been a couple in four. But in well, nine, I was checking the shapes to see if the shapes flag turned on, but... Oh, gotcha. Yeah, this is the dead end where we were like, Thermal has a potion. He could use it, and then you up eight. Yeah, I decided, you know what, gotta use that staircase to get to the northwest and kill that silly blue wizard up that didn't despawn. Jerk. Yeah. I mean, he had sword. Yeah, yeah. And like 50 million bombs that I should have used, but yeah. Who needs bombs? You have sword. Who needs sword when you have red candle? Who needs red candle when you have one? Oh, wait. <laughs> you were too busy getting every item known to... Getting every Triforce known to mankind to get items. I mean, I like Triforces. Especially when you start with zero. Shoutouts to that. Oh, yeah. Fred is now back in the V. Fred has found a bomb wall to the south and has opted not to kill the blue wish. Can't say I blame him. Just to find two more. Picks the lesser of the evils and goes back in and deal with the one. This room also will stay dead after oh. Fred kills it. Yeah. It takes a death. Yeah, that guy's a jerk. That is another difference between the two of you guys. Is Fred has taken quite a few deaths in the seed. 
felt a bit pretty bad about my six, but yeah, two hearts is kind of rough. Yeah, anything below three is just terrible. Especially with this type of dungeon layout where a lot of two heart damage enemies are prevalent. Uh, Red ring is a nine, most likely, and you could buy the blue ring, but you want to buy the bomb upgrades. I mean, I like the hints myself, too. Yeah, but you can retry out of the hints. Ah, that's so much work. Way too lazy for that. If you choose for it to be. But yeah, the hints in this seed were absolutely monumental and should not be overlooked. And that's kind of the power of helpful hints is you just kind of know. Until it is now in the correct. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, until they're deceptive, and then you kind of screwed. But yeah. At that point, you just assume that the hints are garbage anyway. Like once you figure out they're deceptive, you just assume all the hints are garbage and uh, call it a day. I believe you had to go. I'm trying to remember how you get to Zelda. It might be this way. That's an old man. Now I went up from that horrible stair with the wizard robes and then left then up. Fred might actually go back to that tea room now that he so now that he sees that hint. He's not far from it. At least the orange wish ribs are nice and didn't roll really high. Fred also gets a bomb. Fred is going to kill the Patra. Locked in combat with it. Fighting it from the right side is a little bit more dangerous as you can get it stuck in the expanding pattern. Uh, if you kill the wrong Patrite at the wrong time. Uh, but it looks like the lead Patrite has not died yet. The lead Patrite being the first one that spawns. The Patrites are down. Fred's just got to take out the main head. And Fred gets a map. Yeah. There is our ink blot, and there's the clue of the kidnapped in the northwest. G gives a burn the hint giver. Nice. Yeah, that. I mean, killing the Patrick gave you the important hint, but it was, uh, yeah, you had to kill a Patrick to get it. Probably not worth. It. Fred still does not know if Ganon's required or not. Uh, so this room, he's going to clear it. He's going to see the compass. Probably curse a monkey. Maybe even an unnamed goat, too. Maybe. And now the chase is on. Wasn't there a game show called The Chase at one point? There was. Fred cannot go around this way. He's going to have to go the long way. Can he bomb through this wall? to Zelda. He cannot. He's going to have to go back to the stair. Uh, 
base. Apparently, we have a Ganon roar uh, sounding. Well, he's up there somewhere. I don't think we're going to see him, but he's up there. He probably has zero HP. It's fine. Yeah, but Fred doesn't have the bow. Oh, he did the same thing. Nice. Yeah. I think he's going to try to get to Zelda's room first and see if he even needs to go get it. There's the bomb hole, so here's the direction. Yep. He's just gotta go through this one last blue wish rub. Gets a clock. Very timely. Figure, alright, I'm just gonna use the bombs. There it is, the door opens. And gonna grab the key just for posterity. Drop a bomb. Not able to get the key. GG's for Fred. I guess that key in the quarter means that's a staircase too. Yep. Um official Man, time of what in there. <laughs> I wonder if that was a transport. So with that, we have, uh, we do believe that Fred will be joining us uh, soon. And, uh, yeah, that was a seed. And we are joined by a Mr. Fred Coughlin. GG, sir. Oh, thank you. Well played, Therwolf. Thanks. GG's. So we were talking a little bit. The, the biggest difference was really the dig of eight. I could believe that. I mean, the biggest difference right there is the number that's under my uh, file name, the 24. I think that's got to be the biggest difference. I'm playing against Thurwolf, you know, one of the best out here. 24 deaths is not going to cut it. 24 is rough. <laughs> yeah, I, I struggle on low heart starts. Because I can't tank any beam sword hits or whiz rope hits or anything on any up A's and that's one of my weaknesses so that's gonna do it yeah two is deceptively hard just because there's so many things that instantly kill you and again you have played all these various well you know one hit one hit point start max enemy blackout weird combos and you know this is kind of like your bread and butter in fact, he pulled that off in like an hour and five is insane. I if only have... the ladder wasn't required. If I'd known that. <laughs> uh, you actually did have the ladder significantly before Thorwolf did. Um, just a combination of the level eight, the deaths, and you guys took slightly different routes on the overworld that just happened to favor Thorwolf in this case. Yeah, the magic key in six early was very nice. It was a magic key in six, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, the only items I think I really got were the two items out of four and saw the red candle in three and had a hint that there was a bomb upgrade in one. I really didn't get much else. I, I mean, I guess I'm the heat, but... the same. <laughs> I used hints to fill in most of where I know things are. Fair enough. So, I'm going to ask you, Fred, this question. How many monkeys or offspring have been cursed today? Uh, I don't know if such a number can actually be counted on multiple hands and feet even. With the way this seed rolled, so. But it's all good. It was that a great pleasure getting to play Thurwolf, and Thurwolf was able to... Uh, you know, demonstrate just ama how amazingly good he is. You know, the two seeds, both of them, in like just over an hour each. And 
know, he's a monster. It's going to be a really great uh, finals to watch uh, him play against uh, TA there. With that, Thanks, I'm going to hand, I'm gonna hand the floor over to Ferron. Ferron? I'm trying to make sure I get the pronunciation right, because I've heard it a couple different ways. Yeah, Ferron Burgundy. Ferron, okay. So, like, back in the day, those were a mink stole, they would put a fur on. Gotcha. Okay. Are you are you wearing a fur right now? No, it's summertime. <laughs> it's it's ridiculously hot out. Uh, I'm more like uh, well, that Flanders skiing thing, and that's about as far as I'm going to go with that. <laughs> oh gosh, we're going there. Uh, that, that's that's just just dipping my toe in the water. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> or the or the the tip of the ski, I suppose. All right, but yes, this has been a, a heck of a heck of a run for for both of you here. We've got a grand final coming up that's going to be rather intriguing. Thirwolf with the revenge factor, TA909 in the proverbial catbird seat, and it certainly should be interesting. Thank you so much for tuning in here at Random Mania 2. Make sure to give both of our runners a follow as they've been fantastic tonight. F. Coughlin and Thirwolf, and make sure to show some love to the folks behind the scenes. CD Improv taking care of the restreaming, Pro Infernate taking care of the tracking, and for my broadcast partner, Alsoa999, I'm Ferran Burgundy saying until next time, stay classy, my friends, and more importantly, stay 